that is that's very very encouraging to me that there are so many stories, uh, <coughs> such vitality, such faith, such innovation, such um, uh, a willingness to face the future and, and to try things. Um, that I mean, I put to shame most of the corporate uh, conferences I've been to where I could never say that that, 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 that the audience is as gifted as any of the speakers. And so. Um, uh, I, I, that's what I found in, in my discussions. And I, I'm going away with realizing and being rejuvenated in, 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 the, in the hope that um, collectively the body is much bigger than I thought, much more powerful than I thought, much more innovative than I would have expected coming here. I mean, I live in San Francisco, yeah, we can kind of think that people would be kind of creative and hip. But, but here, this is across the country. This is, this is in LA. This is in uh, Idaho, so, so it's very, very encouraging, I think, and we should all take part in, in the fact that um, this is not just localized in a couple of urban places, but it's in fact going deep into the culture. B-boys or B-girls, or for those of you that don't understand, break dancers, better than those in Oakland. Hip-hop has been able to infiltrate cultures that were never a part of the creation of the art form. choices, 
so that that decision, that, that, that thing coming back into the centering, taking the solitude, being quiet, and trying to decide what is the right thing, what is the thing that we are called to do. Yeah. How you guys doing? You guys, it's been a good week for you. You gonna come back next year? Yeah. Next year, the name of the conference is gonna be R. <laughs> <laughs> 17 years ago, I remember the first one. <laughs> Show me the way because the devil's trying to break